guys, what's going on? My name is Luis. Today is September 28, 2024, and God bless to every single one of you. Guys, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. We have a big breaking news update when it comes to Nation against Nation. A massive crater in southern suburb of Beirut from the Holy Land strike. New images revealed the destruction caused by the Holy Land strike using, look at this, a new powerful equipment that has taken the Hellsbull leader. All right, so we have more breaking news updates. Give me a second here, guys. We have more breaking news updates. Look at this here. You have huge boom sound reported earlier near the Sleeping Giant Forces Station at MMS, uh, excuse me, MSS Euphrates, within the gas field in eastern Siri, with claims of a possible strike by Persia forces. Now, this thing is going to get really hot, guys. I believe this region here is going to get really hot. And guess who's there? The bear. The bear soldiers are stationed in this region. So the Sleeping Giant and the Holy Land, they know that. They know it. And yeah, the bear is not... The bear is not Persia. The bear will drop the hammer. But at the very end, God stands with the Holy Land. We have more breaking news updates. Here we go, guys. Look at this. Daily Open Intel Brief. Major escalation between the Holy Land and Hell's Bowl. There's some stuff going on right now. So I'm just showing you all these information that's coming out right now. Here we go. We have some more breaking news updates. Moments of impact. Hell's Bowl uh, equipment lands in East Jerusalem in the Holy Land. All right. So there's some stuff going on, guys. Bringing you all the latest updates of Nation Against Nations. Siren sound across Western Galilee amid drone infiltration fears. So things are hitting the fan right now. Thousands upon thousands of people outside. Outside the uh, Sleeping Giant uh, base. We have Sleeping Giant soldiers out there, guys. We need to pray for them. And things are not looking pretty good. All right, guys, before I start, for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support, either through PayPal or Patreon. Your support truly, truly helps out. Thank you so much, guys. Um, again, Patreon is going to be Monday morning from now on. All right, because Sunday I want to kind of take a rest uh, and, you know, Monday is like a new day. So once again, thank you so much for your support, guys. Without your support, it would, I mean, it'd be really difficult to come out with all these videos and stuff. Um, so thank you so much. New images revealed the, uh, the crater. It's a massive crater caused by the Holy Land strike using the bunker boom that has taken... The Hell's Bowl, you know who. The powerful equipment left a massive crater. So designed to penetrate deep underground. So let's stop here for a second. You think your bunkers are safe? You think your bunkers are safe? I'm again, I'm just saying. Because uh, scripture says in the last days... Everybody will run into caves and tell the mountains to fall on us and hide us. I mean, it, in the last days, people will stock up their goods in a bunker. But, uh, yeah, your bunker could... <laughs> gone. Gone. Now, there's a picture here, guys. There is a picture. Um, I really don't want to show it. I, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I shared it. But I cannot show it. You know what? I'm going to use this picture as a thumbnail. All right, so the thumbnail of this video will be the picture. Guys, this crater is deep. This crater is deep. It's got to be at least 50 feet deep. This thing is massive. It, it, it left a, a big, massive crater. You could fit... Uh, <sighs> 
It's like three or four RVs. That thing, man, that thing was deep. They got, yeah, they got them uh, bunkers. Jeez. Wow. All right, let's see what's going on with this one. Sirens blasting across Western Gallup amid the drone infiltration fears. Now, once again, sirens are blasting in several areas, including those regions amid fears of potential drone infiltration from Hell's Bowl. Now, follow me with the words here. I can say, guys, I got, I received a couple of emails and I'm trying not to get hit. Residents are urged to seek shelter as tensions uh, is looking pretty tough nowadays along the Holy Land northern border. Now, security forces are on high alert to respond to any warnings. So please be safe out there. We're praying for many people. Man, it's getting really tough out there. And, um, you know, people forgot about Crane. People forgot about the bear. But uh, this, this here concerns me. This is like the biggest one. I think this here is the biggest one. This one here. The reason why the bear is here now if the sleeping giant do anything to the bear soldiers it's it's gonna be game on it's gonna be game on it's gonna be ww3 they have to be careful with the bear in that region i'm gonna keep you updated on that story let's see what's going on here major event going on between the holy land and hell's Bowl. Number one, Hellsbill fired approximately 75 flying equipment from lab into the Holy Land. Wow. Multiple equipments targeted key sites, including these regions. You have uh, very important regions. You have a base. So these are the regions here, guys. I'm just going to highlight it. I truly apologize. I can't say the words. Once again, you have very powerful equipment hit the Holy Land military position near Sadat while drones launched by the um, Persian forces in Iraq struck military targets in Northern Holy Land. Number two, the Holy Land strikes. The Holy Land military launched strikes targeting over 140 Hellsbo sites, including Southern, here we go. These are the towns here. Multiple towns. A concentrated strike on a southern suburb of that region, impacting a building where the Hellsville leader was located, using over 80 uh, precession guided munitions. The Holy Land claimed to have impacted the Hellsville rocket unit leader and his deputy. In recent strikes, Hellsville denies these claims. Number three. He's gone. They have confirmed. They have come out and say, yeah, he's gone. He's gone. The dude is gone. He's out of here. His cousin took his place. His cousin took uh, took his spot. The strike also resulted in the takeout of his uh, commander. All right, so once again, Persia declared a five-day mourning uh, period following the takeout of this individual. Sleeping Giant, an international response. The Sleeping Giant expressed concern over the event and urged restraint from both sides. The situation has raised fears of broader regional biblical event with Holy Land officials indicating readiness for a possible ground operation of lab. Give me a second here, guys. Give me a second. I had a piece of cardboard facing the window because the sun was hitting me. And that cardboard was like coming towards me and it was making that squeaking sound like it's about to fall. And yeah, it was coming towards me. So I'm like, yeah, let me just bring that down. All right, so give me a second here, guys. Mm -hmm. 
more breaking news. A large fire has broken out in this region settlement east of the Holy Land City after flying objects were fired from Lebanon. Emergency services are on the scene as tensions continue to uh, get tougher and tougher. All right, so give me a second. Let's go back on Twitter and see if I can find more information, but things are still going on. Hmm, give me a second here, guys. Please share the video if you can. Look at this. Look at this. The Sleeping Giant aircraft have reportedly carried out several strikes. Wow! Against Persia forces near the city of that region in eastern Syria. Oh! Remember I told you guys to keep your eyes on this? Remember I told you keep your eyes on this uh, this land? Because the bear's in there, the bear's soldiers, so the sleeping giant uh, had reportedly carried out an operation out there. But they struck Persia back forces in eastern Syria. As well as the... I'm going to skip that name. Gov of Western Iraq with launch sites for uh, missiles and drones being impacted. Alright, so they are basically hitting everyone, but not the bear. They're striking uh, pairs of forces, but not the bear. I wonder why. They will strike others. They will strike the Mideast, but they won't touch the bear soldiers. Because the bear is not Persia. The bear is much more powerful. And they said that uh, if they get hit, they will push the NUKE button. Right, give me a second here, guys. I'm looking for some more information. What's going on with this? The Red Dragon calls for Im for Medi peace, promotes crane talks. The Red Dragon uh, FM urged for a Mid East cease, F I R E, and promoted uh, the Red Dragon capital diplomatic efforts on crane at the UN General Assembly. Once again, Mr. Wang condemned the lawlessness going on in the Strip and Lebanon, advocating a two-state solution. Now, the Red Dragon, seeking a mediator role, recently hosted Palestine talks and brokered Saudi-Persia ties. Once again, Mr. Wang defended the Red Dragon peace plan for Crane, facing skepticism from Zelensky. Despite promoting peace, the Red Dragon asserts sovereignty over the island Taiwan, warning of its inevitable uh, reunification. That's going to be the next one. That island is going to be the next one. Everybody's just going and doing their thing. The Red Dragon and the island will be the last. And ladies and gentlemen, when that happens, man... We can see our Lord and Savior returning with great power and glory. Alright guys, give me one second here. I'm still looking for more updates information.
so far, it seems like this is all of it for now. For now. All right, guys. It seems like this is all of it for now, but uh, I want to thank every single one of you for sharing my video. Thank you so much for your support. I will keep it updated. I have more videos tonight, okay? I have some more videos tonight. Hold on. Hold on. What's, man, what's going on here? This just happened. <laughs> man. Uh, um... Earlier today, oh, okay, so this was earlier today. The Holy Land military says sirens would sound across Central Holy Land this afternoon were triggered due to the missile launch from Yem. Oh, when they fired the ballistic. Okay, that's when they fired the ballistic. Other than that, this is all the information right now. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here, but uh, thank you so much for watching. I will keep it updated. Make sure you share my video and hit that notification bell. And again, guys, uh, thank you so much for the prayers. And uh, we're doing good here in Florida. Please pray for the people out in Tennessee, North Carolina. Uh, we are seeing all these uh, aftermath of the hurricane. And ladies and gentlemen, there's another one coming. There's another one coming. It's It seems like it's going to be a lot worse than Helen. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago. Or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month. Patreon, we get you access to our live stream every Monday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.